Hi, I'm Kate and I'm going to show you how to make a ragu sauce. Traditionally, this is an Italian meat and tomato sauce. So first of all, I'm going to turn the hob on and to the pan I'm going to add a good drizzle of olive oil. And I've finally chopped one large white onion and I've crushed three cloves of garlic, so they're ready to add to the pan. And what I want to do is allow these to cook for two to three minutes to soften. So the onion's been softening for a good two minutes and now I'm ready to add the meat. I'm going to use both pork and beef mince because I think it's going to add really great flavour to this dish. So what we want to do is brown this meat and it's a good idea with your wooden spoon just to break it up a little bit. The meat's lovely and brown, it's been cooking for about three to four minutes. So the next thing I'm going to add is a glass of red wine, approximately 100 mils, and we'll just pour that in. Give that a little stir. And in this bowl here, I've got two cans of chopped tomatoes. and two tablespoons of tomato puree. We can give that a good stir now. And I think for this you need quite a large saucepan to fit all the ingredients in. I'm going to add two bay leaves. And I've got some mushrooms here. I've got 100 grams of mushrooms. And I'm just not finely chopping them, but what I'm going to do is just cut them in half very carefully, slice them across that way into nice chunks. There we go. So these can be added. And finally, we can season with some salt and pepper. A generous pinch of salt and a good pinch of pepper. So after giving this a good stir round, what I'm going to do is reduce it to a simmer and allow that to cook quite slowly for an hour. And what will happen is the ingredients will all cook, but they'll also reduce slightly, so we'll have a lovely, thick, rich, meaty tomato sauce. The ragu's been cooking for an hour, so I'm going to turn the heat off. And I've chosen to serve this today with some linguine pasta. So put two generous spoonfuls over the top like that. And finish it off with a little fresh basil. And that's how you make a ragu sauce.